This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the delay in making this video, but I do have a very good reason for it. Don't ask me any questions and I won't tell you any lies. For three years, this has been my main video creating tool. This I used this camera for everything. This used to be the Huawei P30 Pro. So with the phone ISM I was not able to create any videos um, this last week. Luckily or should I say coincidentally the day after the phone got crashed was my upgrade. So at this moment I'm doing this video on my new Samsung Galaxy A53 which by the way has got a better camera than the P30 Pro so I hope the quality is looking good and I hope everything is fine anyway back to the main reason for this video I've got a HP Omen as most of you guys know that's been following me for a while and that laptop is also three years old so as you guys know by now you can't just put Windows 11 on any kind of machine because of the requirements. Now the only thing that my laptop did not meet up to was the CPU. The CPU is one generation too old. So I thought well to hell with that I'm going to load Windows 11 onto that laptop. I've been using it now for about two weeks for everything and if you stay tuned until the end of this video then I will tell you exactly what is my thoughts and my experiences with Windows 11. So enjoy the show. Check you at the end. As you guys can see it says you're introducing Windows 11. Check now. Let's just quickly check there. I can show you. This is not compatible with Windows. Why? CPU not supported. You can see everything else is 100%. I've got the Secure Boost, the TMP 2.0. I've got uh, 16 gig of RAM, 120 mega of storage space, 4 cores on the processor, 1 gigahertz, faster clock speed, uh, so everything that I have is more than enough and adequate to run it. Only problem is, the CPU is not supported because it's one generation too old. So I'm still going to try and run Windows on it and I'll be using it for a week or 7 days or so to see if I get any issues and I will let you guys know what the result is okay so let's try and see if we can actually get Windows loaded on here okay so head on to the Microsoft um, web page you'll see there's download Windows 11 you've got Windows 11 assistant and you can also download Windows 11 installation media so what I did now I went for this option create Windows 11 installation media then you get it, it stores the same way as Windows 10 with that media creation tool and you use the media creation tool and then you get this so this is where we are now so let's say accept and let's continue now I first had to delete some stuff on my C drive as my C drive was too full I didn't have enough space so let's try the media creation tool again and see if we won't be a bit more successful okay at least uh, Windows 11 is now downloading and it's also creating an ISO file at a specific place where I placed it it's going to take uh, probably another 10 minutes so uh, now we just have to be patient and see what happens okay now step 2 is to download Rufus to help to create a bootable USB drive so I'm just going to go down here and download Rufus. Now I'm busy installing Windows from the USB stick that we just made. Okay guys, believe it or not, I'm still struggling with space. My C drive is full. 
and every time I'm trying to install it tells me there's not enough space, there's not enough space, like one gig left, one gig left. And I don't want to do a fresh install because I don't, I'm, I'm actually scared I'm gonna um, lose my Omen control center and my HP control center and all that stuff, I don't want to lose that. I just want to change the window. So I don't want to go for the option of saying um, delete everything, because I'm just scared I'm gonna lose something. So I'm still trying to see where I can save space. Um, what apps can I delete that's that's useless to try and make space on the C drive? Ay ay ay. At last, after sorting out some space, here we go. Installing Windows 11. I had to unfortunately delete a lot of my apps and Steam and on and on and on. But it'll teach me to install the apps on the D drive and not the C drive. The C drive is only actually dedicated for Windows itself. So, uh, there we go. Let's install it and see what it looks like. Hi guys, this is my new Windows 11. It's working. So I'm going to use it now for about a week. And then I will let you know what is my experience with Windows 11. Well, there we go. The new rounded corners windows. Taskbar in the middle. So it's definitely Windows 11. Now I'm going to play with it and see what's new, what's different. Actually, it really does look like Windows 10 with just a bit of a makeover. Well, welcome back, guys. So, um, to summarize everything quickly, I've been using the laptop now for about a week, playing games on it, watching movies, internet search, and I must say I really love Windows 11. I've got no issues, it's stable, I haven't had a single crash or any program that had a, a compatibility issue or any problems like that. I love that menu layout. It did take me a few minutes to get used to the new way of cutting and pasting things and deleting things, but um, it's basically Windows 10 with a whole new skin on it. It looks very good, works perfectly for me, and I'm not worried about security updates at this moment. I'm sure they will give us the security updates eventually, one day. But I like the look, the feel of it. Um, I've, been playing, I've been playing Far Cry 6 on it and I haven't had any issues whatsoever with that laptop. And like I said, I've been using it now for almost two weeks. So personally, I'm extremely happy with it. Depending on how old your machine is, if it's just like one or two requirements that's, that's lacking, I think you'll have a very good or very smooth experience with it. If it's a much, much older machine, you might definitely pick up some issues. But because mine only had an issue with the CPU um, age, it's still running fine. And even though the CPU is one generation too old, the specifications on the CPU is still better than the specifications that they require for the new generation of CPU that you need. So, in a nutshell, I'm extremely happy with my Windows 11. And... Um, and well, so far, so good. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, ring that bell icon so you can get notified of any of my further uploads. And until next time, whatever you are doing, keep it safe. Cheers. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there's now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.